INEC begs tribunal judges to rule these six things against me to be breaking news. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Now, like I told you, after INEC committed a lot of rascality and illegality during the presidential election that they, con they conducted, now they are praying and asking the, the judges in the, in the tribunal court to do these things against P2B. I you know the most funny thing about these things they are asking for is that when I, I'm, I'm going to list them out for you and explain them for you to see what they are trying to say and how they are trying to, you know, uh, maneuver their, their rascality and their illegality and all the crimes they committed during the presidential election. You could imagine what they're asking the tribunal judges to do against me to be. After people, after they were given 200 billion naira of taxpayers' money to conduct an election, they couldn't conduct a credible election. Now they're asking the, uh, the tribunal judges, to, begging the tribunal judges to do this for them. Well, I'm going to list them for you to see what they are actually asking the court to do. You know, it's very, very funny. It is very, very funny what they're asking these particular tribunal judges to do. Well, if this is your first time of actually visiting this my channel, you know, don't hesitate, as a matter of fact, to click on the notification button. So you're going to notify whenever I drop a new and important video like this. And also, don't fail to subscribe. Click on the subscribe button so you'll be getting notified concerning this entire incident and court cases within the country. Now, let's go straight to the point. You know, I told you guys that, I told you guys now that INEC is begging the tribunal judges to do these things against me to be. And I'm going to explain and narrate and you probably showcase the things that INEC is trying to, you know, tell the uh, tribunal judges to do for them. Now, the INEC is, is trying to, you know, told the tribunal judges to rule that IRF copies of the results are not necessary for collation of results. Now, let me explain this part of the uh, uh, this uh, begging that they are begging uh, the tribunal judges to do. Because they want to prove that IRF copies of the, uh, of the results are not necessary for collation of results. You know, INEC manipulated the election by manipulating the numbers on the form EC8A, which are the physical results. And as we all know, some of the pooling unit agents, as a matter of fact, you know, after the form EC8A was now to be reversed, they uploaded some of these results offline. Because INEC, like I told you, intentionally shut down the transmission of that particular result to the IRF water. But these people, some pooling uh, agents, you know, submitted and snapped this particular, the original copies of the form EC8A, the from their pulling units and uploaded it. So when INEC now, you know, intentionally on back their data and their server, this resource started uploading immediately to the server. That is why the form e a the INEC, INEC has and the, and the ones on the IREF portal are not the same. They are not coherent. You see pulling units results, the one on the IREF portal is quite different from the one on, on from e a because INEC intentionally manipulated the form e a so this is one of their prayers, and I've, I've explained to you why they are actually ask, asking the court to do this. Now, the second thing they are begging these tribunal judges to do is that that transmission of presidential results was affected by some form of unexplained glitch that caused INS inability, inability to transmit scanned copy of results on, from ECHA onto the IRF from the polling units. Now, they want the, court, the, the judges to say that there was a glitch. But till date, as we are talking to you, all the witnesses and everything that I earlier called could not mention the name of the glitch and what actually happened on the presidential day. So they, they are telling the court, the judges to actually rule in their favor to say that there was a glitch. Now the third thing they want the court judges, the tribunal judges to do is that, that by the time the results of the presidential election was announced, that only 31% of the results had been uploaded onto the IRF portal. So they are trying to tell the court that, uh, that they are trying to tell the uh, Supreme Court, uh, the uh, tribunal courts, justices or judges that that they should say that at the end at that, that at the time the um election results were, was being announced that only 31 percent of results had been uploaded now the fourth part of what uh INEC wants or is begging the uh, tribunal judges to do is that that adequate technical measures we are put in place to mitigate vulnerability and degradation of INEC servers during the election you know it is very very funny they want the court judges to say that uh, that INEC tried to that they actually put some certain things in place but you know they have some challenges but which is a lie because from the witness speed to be called and from everything, I, I like did it an overall test. They ran a test, a complete full time test on the application of, on the IRM and all the transmission, and it went perfectly well. They ran this test just two days before the election. So they are trying to tell the judges for that, that the judges should tell Nigerians or rule that, uh, that ad adequate technical measures we are in place to mitigate vulnerability and degradation of INEX servers during the election. Now, the fifth thing they want. Uh, the judges, this uh, tribunal judges to read is that reverse be scan copy of results on form ECA, whether transmitted electronically or manually, could not affect the integrity of the collection process. You know, it is very, very funny. You know, when you see criminals speaking and begging, you know what they are begging for. Now, they are saying that that, uh, that the judges should, should say that uh, that the reverse scan copy of results on form ECA 
whether transmitted electronically or manually could not affect the integrity of the collection process. They want Nigerians to believe that, that whatever from ECA they have is authentic, uh, uh, is, is the authentic result, that it was not manipulated, neither was it doctor. But we know that some state governors, Governor Mickey, doctor, when you go to the IRM, you see how, how, how they manipulated all the, IRM, all the from ECA results by some state governors within the country. Now, the sixth thing the, uh, this INEC is begging uh, the tribunal judges to do is that the election was conducted substantially in accordance with the law, with high in integrity as in a, a vision. You know, it, it, is really, it is really, really funny that the INEC, that the election was conducted substantially according to the electoral act and everything. It, it is very, very funny. Even when the electoral act mandated that their will, as a matter of fact, be the electronic, that INEC must transmit elect the uh, uh, results to the IRF portal at three times, INEC failed in that particular uh, uh, regard. Till date, INEC is still uploading results to the IRF portal. So which results, the results did they use to announce him as the president of this particular country? So these are the prayers. You could see, like I've said, when a criminal wants to give his his or defense, you will know where the person is coming from. Look at the prayers and how they are praying and asking or begging the supreme or the tribunal judges to win in their favor. You could see the lies they are asking the uh, the, the tribunal judges to rule in favor of them. You know, like I've said, the tribunal is actually the entire. You know, you could see the lies saying that they, they conducted the election substantially according to the electoral acts. That uh, they should say that uh, the IRF voter was not necessary. That they should equally say that all the I, 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 all the uh, from ECA they have or they have on their hands, you know, is the authentic result. That nobody should believe whatever they see on the IRF voter. It is very very funny. You know, like I've told you guys, Mahmoud Yakubu will go to prison at the end of the day. He will definitely or sure and surely go to prison for this rascality and illegality that he committed, all in the name of an election. We know. You could see the prayers and how the INEC is begging these tribunal judges to go in their favor. You could see what they're asking. You could see the illegality they are asking. Even they forgot that it is mandatory for them to transmit. They forgot that they, on several occasions, their commission have been faced to Sokoye stated that they will transmit the election results at three times electronically to IREF for people to view at three times. But they feel that now. They want the judiciary to, 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 to back up their rascality and support this illegality that, that they committed. Well, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll inform. When kids not subscribe to my channel, do well to click on the notification button and drop your comment in the comment section.